let me don my headband, reach my final form, which is a soul-sucking demon. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am Andy, I am the host of the page, and I'm so glad you guys are here today because I am going to be doing a follow-up on one of the products that I hauled for you guys in one of my last haul videos. As you guys know, I purchased a whole bunch of foundation, so I got a whole bunch of things to be testing out. Um, I decided today that I was going to test the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer just because I think it's a really cool concept. Um, as you guys can tell, it's got a concealer and I actually did swatch it. I don't know if you can see in the camera my fingerprint on it, but the concealer was a lot better than I was expecting. So I'm having a fairly good feeling, a lot of high hopes about this product. But the seal the um, concealers in the top and then this is the foundation down here in the bottom. So I just kind of wanted to do it on camera, my first experience actually putting it on my face. I told you I swatched it on my hand, um, but I haven't played with it yet, so we're going to jump right into it and see how I like it. Just conveniently enough, one of my favorite face primers is the Stila One Step Color Correcting Primer. So I decided that I would go ahead and pair that with their foundation because I feel like when you use the same brand for multiple products, a lot of times they're designed to work cohesively. So I know this one works well for my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'm just going to do a little bit on each of my cheeks, my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm going to rub it all in. Yes. Beautiful. Make my flesh one-toned because it's so red. For some weird reason, though, my skin's actually been doing really well lately. Like, I haven't been treating it much better than I normally do. It just, uh, it just is doing a little bit better. Um, and as you guys can see, I've actually already done my brows for the day. Normally I would do my primer, my face primer before I did my brows. But I mean, you guys have seen me do my brows before. It's not really anything new. I wasn't new using any new products. So I didn't want to waste time redoing that when you've already seen me do it. So I went ahead and get those out of the way so we could just focus on the primer and see how we like the primer. So that's pretty well absorbed into my skin now. Um, I will say with that particular primer it's a little bit more like a moisturizer so it kind of takes a minute to dry down so I'm just gonna give it like a minute to settle into my skin this I've really been liking as my foundation brush but because I'm trying to get a feel on how this foundation is going to work for me I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my good old beauty blender because I know I like this one um, I call this beauty blender it's beauty blender knockoff it's the Ulta brand but I got like 20 of them for like nine dollars at Christmas time and it works just as well in my opinion I have made it nice and wet I absorb it's like real wet I probably should have dried a little bit more it's fine um but this this applicator is really kind of weird it's so like I don't can you see that I'm trying not to like waste product but like do you see that so that's that's what it winds up doing so the first time I squeezed it, I was like, oh, okay. I've never seen this before. But I mean, in terms of packaging, like way to go on being unique. I'm always for something that's a little bit different. So, but I just got that least little doll up and oof, oof, you can see that. It, hmm, I don't know. It seems to be like a little bit tacky, uh, tackier than I expected it to be it's just based on like how it's kind of laying down it seems to be pulling and I'm a big fan of the tapping process rather than the dragging process I think it just helps spread it out a little bit more evenly it winds up making you look a little bit more airbrushed and have a nicer finish so I'm gonna keep going with this application process if for some reason it doesn't work of course I will readjust because that's what we do with our beauty products sometimes we have to figure out how to use them you know, it's making me look a little bit pory. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of giving me a little bit of extra bumps that I did not feel that I necessarily uh, had before we started this. So hopefully I can make it work. I think that's what's so interesting about the like first impressions when you've never used a product and then you get on camera and you're like, well, let's see what happens together because who knows? And honestly, this is more the the product. This is less than I would normally do. I, uh, I only did one pump and I normally probably do about two pumps. So, but I wanted to just do one to see how that did and then I'll go ahead and, and do a little bit more. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I totally lied and I really should have used that brush and the brush would have made this application so much prettier and this is why it's not working as well as I was hoping it was going to work, but I don't know. I'm going to get a little bit of the excess that's on that sponge though down my neck. I did like a really slow like half squeeze because I think I only need like a little bit more product 
And honestly, I think this packaging might be a little deceiving. Like, it's very possible that, like, it's, like, that's where your foundation is. So you only have that much that's actually foundation. Um, I know a lot of makeup companies are really bad about doing that. So I would not put it past a company to do that. Not that I'm saying that there's anything conniving or misleading about Stila. I just think that I, I know and I've seen the tricks of the trade and how people kind of can package something really beautifully and make it look unique and make it look like it's filled with product and really it's like a very tiny portion of it that actually is um is the product of it i don't normally use foundation standalone i normally mix them with other products i normally like to create my own colors and make sure that everything looks nice and kind of helps it make a little bit more seamless but i don't know it just doesn't seem to be it's not bad it's not bad. I don't know how it looks on camera. Apparently, Nikki says it's a thumbs up, so. All right, well, I think that's probably about as full coverage as I can get with this. I mean, that's really, honestly, in terms of how many pumps I had to do, that's a lot less than I would normally do. It was, like, two and a half. Um, and sometimes I, like, really go a little bit too crazy with, especially when I'm mixing, I'm like, here's two pumps of this and three pumps of this and two pumps of that. And then it's like, that's a lot of product. So, actually, I think it, um... Just in terms of like making sure everything was covered, it did it did it its job with like a minimal amount of product, and I don't hate it. The color seems to be good for me. Um, I do. I'm really interested in using the concealer and seeing how the concealer works with it, um, and if maybe the concealer does a little bit of a better job of kind of setting everything down. All right, so I'm gonna take this little itty bitty beauty beauty blender. Once again, this is from Ulta. I think it came in a free kit because you know I like my free kits and I get a lot of stuff in my free kits that I wind up using. So uh, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm just going to put a little bit of the concealer just like on the edge of it, just like that. I'm just gonna go under my eyes. And that is a drastic color difference. Ooh, that's patchy. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, I hope I can make this work. Oh, sorry guys. This is a rough one. Oh, wow. And it just really removed all of the foundation. <laughs> Why have I chosen to do this? Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay. All right. So we're going to make it work, y'all. Slow but steady. Just like that little tortoise that won that race. That's what we're going to be here. Everything's raised. Maybe it's the harsh lighting. But honestly, if it can't stand up in harsh lighting, then really it can't stand up anywhere in my opinion. So I'm going back in with my big beauty blender now. I'm just trying to get it to like evenly spread and look less bad. There's just one random red patch that has been covered with now concealer and two things of foundation and is still red. It's still red. It's still red. It won't go away. I mm. Gonna make it work. Gonna make it work. Gonna make it work, cause I have to. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I want it to get better, but it's not. So... I mean, I spent $40 to buy two of them. So I'm going to use them because that's who I am. I'm not going to let them go to waste. But I would I say that this is a, a really decent, easy to use standalone foundation? No. I'll see what I can do with the rest of it and the rest of my makeup. Maybe if I go and add my dry powders in and I set it, maybe it'll look a little bit better. But there's just still like, honestly, in both cheeks, this one's worse. But in both cheeks, right, just right here, there's just this patch of red. And I, I cannot, no matter what, I can't put concealer on it. I can't put more product on it. It's either pulling or it's just, it, maybe it's getting redder because I'm sitting here beating it with a sponge trying to make it less red. I don't even know at this point. Honestly, I had higher hopes for this. Uh, and when I swatched it on the back of my hand, it really settled nicely into my fine lines and I feel like it has not done this on my face. Um, maybe it's that it didn't work as well with the primer as I was hoping it would. I don't know. I'm going to try and work with it and try and hopefully be able to do something with it, create a look that I can like be okay with. But for right now, I'm just really like very underwhelmed with this. So, okay. So we were supposed to film a final scene for this video. However, we'd filmed like three videos today for this day and uh, we were starving. So we decided to go get sushi and completely forgot. 
Now, I'm kind of glad that we didn't film the final section just because I probably would have been a lot more cruel about this foundation than I should have been. Um, as I wore it out and when I was out at dinner, I kind of realized that it actually sat really well in my skin. It didn't really pull a lot. Um, the concealer did a good job as well. So I was really critical of it when I was applying it, but as I wore it throughout the day, I actually wound up kind of liking it. So I take back a lot of the harsh things that I said. I think it's a workable foundation. It gave me some challenges and it's not that I didn't struggle with it a little bit, but overall I was actually kind of satisfied with the look that I created with it. Um, I included this picture that I snapped as we were walking into the restaurant, um, just because I, I think it shows kind of how well the foundation did in natural light and on camera so yeah sorry still I didn't mean to be super super critical for no reason that was just kind of my initial response um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys like the idea of the first response I know I'm not the first one to create it but I really like the concept of it which is why I would like to keep doing it on my channel as always if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see every time we post a video as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist. Mwah.